morning friends eccentric loading on helical spins so eccentric load the load is eccentric to the axis of the member or the load is applied at an offset to the axis of the member so when the load is uh, parallel to the axis but not along the axis then it is said to be eccentric load so here a uh, helical compression springs are of almost a cylindrical shape is it right so the springs are like this and these cylindrical members are having certain axis exactly at the center if the load is applied exactly at the center then the deflection of all the coils of the helical spring uh, will have uniform will induce uh, uniform stress okay suppose if the load is applied with some offset from the axis of the member let us take e is the offset or this is also known as eccentricity so if the load is along this uh, direction then it is said to be eccentric load to the axis of the member and this eccentric load induces more amount of stress on this type on this side and it induces less amount of stress on the right side part to the axis okay so that's why you need to consider safe load on the spring when it is subjected to eccentric load otherwise uh, there is a possibility of premature failure of the spring under the action of this type of eccentric loads so safe load in the uh, spring when it is subjected to eccentric load what do you mean by safe load safe load is nothing but the load up to which the spring can easily function it's uh, can easily execute its function without affecting the uh, the functioning of the component is called safe load okay so under the action of this uh, eccentric load the safe load can be calculated let us take ws is equal to w into some factor that factor is the ratio of diameter of the coil divided by 2e plus diameter of the coil so this factor this is the factor you need to consider to find out the safe load axial load multiplied by this factor d by 2e plus d gives the safe load under the eccentric loading conditions on the springs so you cannot uh, uh, take more than this safe load if you consider more than this safe load there is a possibility of failure so and you cannot uh, get the required function if the load on the spring crosses this ws value this is nothing but eccentric loading and the next one buckling of compression spring so next one is the buckling failure buckling of compression springs right so you might have studied in our mechanics of solids regarding this type of failure buckling failures when do you get a buckling failures when the member is a column when the member is a column these columns generally fail under buckling when it is subjected to a compressive loads so let us take a, a small wire which is fixed at bottom end and loaded at the uh, top end or the free end then there is a chance of buckling failure this we already discussed in many uh, cases right the same type of failure you need to consider here in the compression helical springs also because here the load is a compressive load and the spring is supported at one end like this let us take the spring is uh, supported at the uh, supported on ground and here this is a compression helical spring right okay now 
this is the load applied on the compression helical slit since it is a compressive load now here you need to consider buckling of this compression helical slit when you consider this buckling when the length of the member is very much high okay so now here with respect to the helical spring when the length of the free length of the spring free length of the helical spring if it is greater than four times the diameter of coil four times the diameter of coil or mean diameter of the coil then the spring is considered as column or the spring acts as a column okay so to avoid this column from its buckling or the creeping we have standard uh, uh, limiting load equations creeping load or the buckling load equations from the thermal serankine equation or euler equation but here in the case of columns uh, we don't use uh, your rankine equation or the euler equation instead the crippling load is calculated from the spring wcr is equal to k into kb into l this is crippling load or buckling load equation for compression helical spring where k is the stiffness stiffness of the spring what is the units of uh, stiffness newton per meter or newton per millimeter and b is the buckling factor and lf is free length of the spring so we have already studied a few terms related to this compression helical spring solid length and free length free length is the length of the spring in undeformed state or uncompressed uncompressed state or unloaded state free length of the spring so by using this equation we can find out the buckling load or crippling load so this is a limiting load or this is the maximum load that can be applied on the spring beyond which there is a chance of buckling break you so the load acting on the spring w always should be less than this limiting value w cr then only you can avoid the buckling of compression helical spring is it clear so this is regarding a uh, buckling of compression helical springs okay so thank you